Extensions of biotechnology itself are what I really get excited about. We've seen for 17 years that you can solve agricultural problems, um, that you can make a plant require less insecticide in the field, and you can save farmers time and money by using the uh, glyphosate resistance traits. But what, what about other traits that we can use and we'd like to see move into the wider population? Um, I think creating nutrient-rich crops, which we know we can do already, and seeing them move into the developing world. Coming up with crops that can grow in marginal conditions, such as salinated soils, maybe within drought. Um, and, and nothing's going to solve everything, but if, if it allows a plant to survive one cold snap or maybe one drought incidence where it normally would go down, um, that could change, it'd be a real game changer for a family that's in need. Yeah, golden rice is a really interesting issue because plants, many plants, naturally do make beta carotene, which is a precursor to vitamin A, which is what required for vision. And on in the earth, every or on our face of our earth, every year, um, uh, millions of people either are going blind, especially children, and uh, also suffering from vitamin A deficiencies. This could be easily corrected by supplementation of beta carotene. What better way to do it? than to deliver it inside the plant itself. And if you can't grow carrots sustainably or whatever you would use for a vitamin A source, what about using the uh, plants that people in Asia usually consume? And this would be rice. And uh, to be able to engineer these pathways into, the, into rice and be able to grow rice would pro provide that vitamin A. Over the years, we've seen the technologies increase where now you can engineer more beta carotene into rice where it does become viable as a substitute for other leafy greens and other products that would provide that vitamin A. Uh, going forward, uh, we're learning more every single day about how to increase fortification of different foods. And uh, I, under the, I firmly believe that golden rice is going to be the cutting edge of this. To the activist, golden rice must fail. If golden rice saves one life or restores blindness in one child or once it's out there actually does have a positive effect, their entire house of cards comes tumbling down. So one of the things that I think will really shift public perception of GM crops is uh, what's coming next, this idea of GMO 2.0. Um, we see vitamin enriched cassava, um, nutrient enriched cassava. We know we can engineer all kinds of uh, nutrient increases into plants. Uh, here in, in the industrialized world, you'll see uh, products that last longer, have better post-harvest quality, that maybe they don't brown as quickly, maybe they hold their nutrients longer, maybe they just taste better. Uh, the next generation of, of, of products won't simply be out in the farmer's field. These will actually be in all of our kitchens.